I am resetting the NHL with a fantasy draft. I must then choose 20 players that have at least three years left on their contract. Although the current NHL season is almost over in franchise mode, it starts at the beginning of this one. Essentially what I'm trying to tell you is that I'm going based off of three years left in this game. Once I select all 20 players, we will assemble the team in franchise mode and have a special three year simulation. I will not be able to make trades or pick up any free agents. Let's see if a three year sim will help us get the stand Cup. Which squadron will we be representing in this special three-year fantasy draft we get the Ottawa Senators? Deal. We're gonna go ahead and say no to owner mode. We will, however, enable fantasy draft because once again, it's kind of the whole point. It's what we're doing here. Jabroni has not and will not sneak under my radar. You're gone. It's just not gonna happen, Jabroni. It's not. It doesn't really matter what draft pick we get, so I'm gonna say that we get draft pick number... 11. That was just the first number that came to mind for some reason, and I'm sticking to it, and we are nowhere close. Three or more YLs. We have Miro Heiskanen with 91 overall. JT Miller, seven more years. Wow. I did not know he was signed that long term. You know what? I've got a crazy one for you. So first, we're going to go to all skaters. And we're going to take Miro. Are you kidding me right now? There was like four or five goalies with three plus years left on their deal. And they all just disappeared like a fart in the wind. Gone. I was going to take Mr. IR, but I'm not going to do that because I feel like I've pretty much never drafted Barzal. So let's give him a spin. With Miro being left-handed, it kind of works in our favor. We got two righties right here, Pi Trangelo and John Carlson. Carlson's making 800k less, same overall. I'm assuming they're both two-way defenders, yeah. Same draft year as well! Holy crap, these are just two peas in a pod right here. We're going with John. He simulates too well. I have to do it. Welcome to the team, EK. Welcome back to Ottawa, actually. I'm just gonna state a couple facts here real quick. He is making seven and a quarter less than Bobrovsky. And on top of that, he's only one overall lower. So we're going with Semyon. I'm just thinking this now, and it's kind of worrisome, actually. Later on in the draft, we might have some struggles finding players with three years left and making not a lot of money. Regardless, we need a goal scorer to go with Barzal, the playmaker. So Ovi, welcome aboard. We have drafted six players and we have eaten up a healthy amount of cap space. So we gotta start being careful already. Siegenthaler at 3.4 is not amazing, but it is the best one I have seen. So let's go for it. Where is my ELC? Yeah, you know me. Individuals at. Matthew Joseph, our first line right winger, 83 overall. Incredible stuff. Three years, three million per centerman. Could be a good second line guy for us. All right, Scott, I'll give you a go. Ooh, White Cloud, 2.75 for five years. That's pretty good. So good, in fact, that he is joining the Ottawa Senators. We don't really need defensemen, so I'm not going to sign Shen, but... They seem to be a lot easier to come by. Nick Paul at just over three isn't too bad. Nice shot, Paul. We are really going to be cutting this close, though. Another centerman. What's going on here? Calais Yarncroak, 2.1 milli. And three years left on that deal, at least according to this game. I mean, it's probably burnt a year IRL, but I already talked about it in the intro. We're going based off of this. I'm actually going to be fuming. If we get in there and all of a sudden a year has just gone off the contracts, I'm going to be so upset. This guy's actually sick. I love Sonny Milano. Little sniper action, 1.9. Okay, seven years at three million. That's crazy. I don't know why it's so easy to find centers, but thankfully David Camp is center slash right wing, even though he shoots left. I guess play on your off wing, whatever. Anyway, you are a senator from here on out. There has to be somebody here. There has to be a goalie signed to three years Making pretty much nothing, soup is not gonna cut it. Not ideal, we'll likely end up with more than one of this kind of player, mid 70 overall, but three years left, under a mil. Welcome to the team, Drew. And remember, we're simming for three years, so maybe he'll be a stud by the time it's all said and done. 13 million left, 2.9, and his face-offs are very good. Hard to say no to that, even though we do have 
a million and one centers already. At this point, I'm just going to keep taking centers. I mean, he's dual position as well. Frederick Goudreau is pretty ideal for where we sit right now. So let's get it done. And then I'm going to come get Shiri right after that. So you know what? I think we're actually in all right shape here. Will our team be good? That's another question. So fun fact for you, we will not be getting Shiri because he's gone. But I think we can afford Engvall at this point. Yeah, we're chilling. All right, here we go, Pierre. Two roster spots available. We need a defenseman and ideally a right winger, but in reality, just a forward. I would also really prefer if this defenseman was left-handed just so we could keep everything aligned. And I think TVR is right-handed, so that's not going to work. Nico Mikola is basically splitting the cap in half. That's very fair of you. I appreciate that. 2BC GM legend Evgeny Dadanov. All right, in an interesting series of events. I don't have my glasses on. <laughs> I don't know how this guy slipped under the radar. He's probably on the screen when I said he's not there. But Connor Sheary is in fact here. That's how we're completing the team. A little draft summary for you. We have some good players, but we have a lot of okay players as well. Maybe it'll work. I don't know. So as this starts at the beginning of the season that is pretty much done, they should have three years left, but I just want to make sure that we didn't get finessed out of these contracts. Okay, we didn't draft these two, so they're getting sent down. Going to be AHLers for this squad, but everyone else is signed through the 25-26 season, so we are okay. Okay! So let's rid ourselves of these two players. See ya. Look at that chemistry! That is shocking. But also, I'm going to take a screenshot of this so I don't forget who is on our team. Who has the better face-offs? 89 and 81. And he's center slash left wing, so get in there. What is that? Slightly worried about our defensive chemistry? For no reason. Absolutely no reason. Holy crap, are we going to be good? Semyon Varlamov and Drew are two goaltenders. He's only 21 and he's got medium starter potential. So you know what? After three years, he might actually be decent. Three years left for him and four years on Semyon. Let's start simming the first season. I'm going to say Ovi gets the most points with 85 and we get 43 wins. That's it. You heard it here first. Oh, the draft class is a bit weaker than normal. That's crazy. You should probably tell someone who cares. We've got our team for the next three years, and that's all that matters. Because this is going to be a three-year sim. Our division must be insane, because we have a good record, and we are fifth. I might have already mentioned this, but I'm not going to look as much into the league stats as I normally do, because we are going for three years here, so probably just do like a quick overview. I'm not even going to go into the trade deadline. Call me crazy. That is a trade and a half. But you know what? I'm not even going to do blockbuster trades. I don't care. Let's see if there's going to be one more. Lindholm, Gustafson, and Shattenkirk all go into St. Louis for a first and Millick. Well, that's one way to not get trade notifications. 9-1 win over the Blues. We are on one. And then we have an 11-3 L to Minnesota. That is brother ew. 46 wins to end the regular season for the Senators. And it looks like we were second in the division. Apparently, I underestimated our squad. 102 points. That's probably top five in the league. Yeah, right there at number three, tied with Colorado. What an insane season. These guys clicked. 95 points for Ovi, 83 for Barzell, 52 goals, and how about Miro? What a mad lad. EK65 couldn't even keep up. 52 points for Matthew Joseph, but he was a plus 21, so I... doesn't matter. Drew kind of got lit up like a Christmas tree. He's still 74 overall, but Semyon... Nearly a 920. What a career year for this guy. Our other defensive pairings didn't do great, but the team succeeded, so whatever. Mr. Anderson led the league. 45 wins, 906 save percentage. <laughs> Weak. Joey Decord and John Gibson both had 42 dubs. Oh, we weren't even close. I thought maybe that would be a Norris season, but Kale McCarr blew us out of the water. 95. Chill out, my friend. Sydney the Kidney gets 111. They weren't teammates, were they? No. Kyle Connor on the Capitals. He had 55 goals, and so did Pasta. So we don't even get the Rocket Richard. Come on, throw me a bone here. I just want one trophy. That's it. But you know what? We're going to get the Stanley Cup, and that trophy is way more important than any of these silly individual ones. I'm going to keep telling myself that anyway. Our first opponent is the Flowrida Panthers, and you know what? I believe we got this. We don't lose this series. We just don't. I'm so confident that I'm simming the whole thing. 
I can't wait for this to backfire and blow up in my face. We lose the first one. Okay, you had me in the first half, not gonna lie. It went all the way to seven. Second round victim. The Tampa Bay Lightning. They are deep in the middle. Scary first line. I will admit that. Defensively, it's pretty good. Markstrom in the net. We don't lose this one either. We actually might. I'm not as confident, but I'm still going the whole thing. That's a great start. Had me in the first half, not gonna lie. Why was that way easier? They brought back Konechny. They have Pointer and ADB. It's a good first line. They're pretty good depth-wise as well. Defensively, they got Morrissey and they brought back York as well. Again, I don't think we lose this. Logan Thompson in the net? We're in the Stanley Cup final. We are. Eventually, this cockiness is gonna backfire and that might be now. Yeah, we got taken down. All right, well, good luck against Smashville. Let's see how you do. They did, in fact, go on to win the Stanley Cup. The Broad Street Bullies! We were so close. Miro is playing unbelievable. 16 points in 18 games. 19 for Ovechkin. He had his guy. Varlamov did all right. 908 save percentage. That's acceptable. Logan Thompson played out of his mind. 917 save percentage. You deserve that Stanley Cup. Rasmus Dahlin had 27 points in 26 games played. Morrissey 23 and 26. And Miro's right there. I don't, I'm gonna have to draft this guy more often. Most likely your Con Smythe winner, Braden Point, 33 in 26. Crosby keeping the Art Heart tradition alive. McCarr does get the Norris. Kyle Connor with the Lady Bang. Leo Carlson. Wow, it wasn't Betsy for once. ADB did in fact get the Con Smythe. Gibson with the Vesna. Jennings to Igor. Pulock assigned the Bill Masterton. Fernandez is your Jack Adams winner. Sydney the Kidney. Is just cleaning up at the end here, but Pasta gets the rocket. Well, so does Kyle Connor, I guess. Oh, we got the 16th pick, thanks to Boston. Doesn't matter. I didn't even consider retirement. If anyone on this team retires, I'm going to cry. I'll do it. Don't tempt me. I think we're chilling. This should be the same roster, at least offensively. This is the exact same lines as... I had last year, and somehow the chemistry is worse. Can you riddle me that? Okay, that is going to be our team's offense going into season number two. Defensively, we're still big chill, and EK65 went up to 91 overall. I think he was only 88, so that's a big hop. John Carlson and Siegenthal are plus two. Got the plus one down here. Let's see if our goaltender went up. That is not who we drafted. 89? I am shook by this. Good for you. The other guy only went up one overall to 75, but who cares? When you've got semi on, you better not retire. You're a spring chicken. 36, that's it. I guess if I'm going to be worried about anybody, it's probably Ovechkin. And isn't Stahl pretty old too? Ah, he's 36. We should be okay. Season number two, Ovi gets the most points. 87, he's getting Crosby's number. And the squadrons will receive. No. Will earn. 44... Dubs. Come on, lads. We need more wins. What's going on? Oh dear. Were we a one-trick pony? Do they just know what we do now and we're shut down and we're gonna suck this year and next year? If we don't make playoffs, that is alarming. And I feel like player overalls are gonna drop. All right, we're on the revenge tour right now. That was a lot of wins in a short span. Maybe we can make a push here. Our division doesn't seem as strong this time around, considering we were fourth. And we have the same amount of wins as regulation losses? No, we collapsed. That was far too many L's in- I want to know what this losing streak is, because that is potentially a record. We lost to Tampa Bay, so there's five in a row, dating back to the Rangers here. Six, seven, eight. How does that happen? Eleven straight losses. Double digits. Yeah, no wonder we're not in the playoffs. Playoffs? I'm just gonna sim them, and then we'll go check out the stats. There's no point going to look now and coming back. Toronto Marlies, back-to-back -back Calder Cups. The Washington Capitals take home Stanley. 78 points. That is a drastic change from last year, and our team got better, I feel like. 
I don't understand. The Winnipeg Jets were your President's Trophy winners. They had 51 dubs, 112 for points. The 20th place Buffalo Sabres make it in. We've seen lower, but that is still crazy. 28th in the league. So that's how it's going to be. 78 points for OV. What happened to Miro this year? That is an all-time fall-off. EK65 put up three more points than last year, I believe. I don't know what happened. Farlamov didn't do too bad. 908 save percentage, 310 GAA. That's acceptable. Even John Carlson on the second pairing had more than Miro. You can't be doing that. Vazzy and Igor both had 38 wins, but Vazzy definitely had the better save percentage. Even Kale McCarr fell off this year. He had 75, which is 20 less than last year. If Miro put up 80, we would have had the Norris, probably. Larkin is your Art Ross winner, 110 points. Matthews with 53 goals is likely the Rocket Richard winner. Yep. I'm just going to scroll through these. We have one... We won something. We have one season remaining. I need to really hope that we don't have anyone retire. Otherwise, it kind of defeats the whole purpose of the video. And we don't want that. Come on now. No wonder this guy got the con Smythe. What a sicko. You see what I see. 16 wins. That's how much it takes to win the cup. So understandable. 912 save percentage. Jakey O. Otter. Did quite well. The Capitals just have a dynasty over there. Victor Hedman. Nearly point a game in the loss. Good for you as well, Philip. And this can't go unnoticed. As a defenseman, wow. We got moved down one in the draft, but again, doesn't bother us. That scared me for a second. I thought it was Jordan Stahl, but nope, we are okay. Varlamov didn't retire, right? Yeah. Carey Price. This is our final season, and I would be lying directly to your face if I said I had any kind of confidence. Everyone looks okay, except for you, Tyler. You gotta go. And Connor Sheary has gotta come in. Scott Lawton's 85, same with Yarn Croak, but I feel like other than that, we haven't seen much growth. Milano, 84. Joseph went up three, I believe, but he was 86 last season as well. How about our defense? Still the same. All right, plus three, plus two, plus one. I got a crazy one for you. Let's try it. Seven overall drop is crazy. Drew is 77 and 82 is our starter. This is going to be a rough season. You know what? Screw it. Barzal gets the most points and he'll have 85 and we get 38 wins, which is that the same we got last year? All right, let's, uh, let's get this started here. I think I want to do the three year draft challenge again but I can only take players that are like 24 and under. We had a good run in the first year, but that is all we had. From conference final to a bunch of bums, there's a very real chance that we finished dead last in the entire league. The challenge of this one was more or less that I don't sign contracts, so we sign players that have to be on the three-year deal and we simulate the whole thing with them. But if I do the 24 and under draft, I feel like I could take someone on a one-year deal and re-sign them because that's not really the purpose of that one, you know? We kind of brought it back. Not really, but... You know, like, we weren't last in the league, is what I'm saying. The Broad Street Bullies go on to win their second Stanley Cup. And how about them Marlies? What a dynasty. I think it's safe to say that I, as the GM, got fired, so it is time for a fire sale by the next GM, because... Well, you can't really, because they don't have any contracts left. You gotta try signing them. Or, you could just let them walk and then really just bet on free agency, but risky. 78 points again. I think that's what we had last year. Sixth in the division. Again. I believe that's where we finished last year. The Oilers are your President's Trophy winners. 110 points. This is their team. If you were curious, Matthews, Besser, and Larkin. That is a dirty first line. 26th in the league. We moved up. Slightly. Barzell had 80 points. Ovi only 74. He did have 49 tucks, though. John Carlson did decent. Miro did okay. EK65 tied him on the second pair, but was a dash 25. Come on, Eric. You know what, though? For an 82, like now 81 overall goaltender, 
You did fine. I would argue that he was the most consistent player. Bobrovsky, 42 wins, but a sub 900 save percentage. I feel like it's been a great few years for Joey Decord. Kill McCarr went off again. Fox tried to keep up, but just barely fell short. There he is. Connor McDavid wins the Art Ross. 117 points, 78 apples which is the same as Goal Caulfield. Let's see who wins the Rocket Richard. Kyle Connor splits it with Pasta again? That was the first year, right? I know Kyle Connor split it with someone. Was it Pasta? I feel like, yeah. Victor Olofsson, 55 goals. What a unit. So let me know what you think about doing the U24 or basically just like a younger player version of this with a three-year sim. So they have tons of opportunity to grow. I guess that's the disadvantage of taking older players is that they are going to do the opposite of grow. They're going down. At least we didn't have anyone retire. We got to keep our squad. We had a great first season and then we sucked horribly. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Regardless, if you could like the video and subscribe, that would be great. Uh, comment anything as well. Apparently that helps with the algorithm. Let me know if you have other draft ideas, video ideas in general. If you tried this, how it went, your pet's name if you have one. And on that note, I'll see you soon.